We're going to be tasting uh, the original Sutter Home White Zinfandel, and uh, we'll, we'll call it your mother's, and, uh, and the Halleck Vineyard, not your mother's, dry white Zinfandel, which we make like a uh, Provencal style rosé. These are both white Zinfandel wines, and we thought it would be fun to compare them. So let's start right away um, with the Sutter Home. And let me first say that the Sutter Home is a non-vintage. It is from California. It is 9.5% alcohol. And the Halleck Vineyard is uh, 2021, and it's Russian River Valley. It is a single vineyard. It's a very different caliber of wine, and it's 13.7 alcohol, so considerably more. And obviously, it, because it's dry, all the sugar has been uh, has been converted to alcohol in the fermentation process. So let's start uh, by smelling this uh, this Sutter Home White Zid. Well, even before I dive into the glass, the thing that um, it's kind of funny, the, it's a nice rosé color. It's almost that onion skin that like French winemakers go for. Yeah, I'm not true. sure if that was intentional, mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah. ours is much pinker. Yeah, you can probably see is, it in the video. Yeah, so this is much uh, more amber in color. Um, Oh my gosh, it smells like marshmallows. <laughs> so, so he said this earlier that it smelled like marshmallows. So what we did is we went and we pulled out a bag of marshmallows because I didn't know what marshmallows smell like. And sure enough, it smells like marshmallows. <laughs> and I think, you know, that marshmallow kind of leads into a cream. Um, there's a little fruit, I think mm -hmm. strawberries, certainly. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a peach note. Totally. It's kind of like a canned peach. It's like mm. almost like a sugary peach. Mm. Mm. Well, let's see. Well, the sugar certainly comes through. There's no acidity to speak of. It is it's very nice. smooth. This is this is like super easy drinking wine. We understand why it was so popular for so long. It was just like it goes down like Kool-Aid. Yeah. It's a gazebo guzzler, as we like to say. <laughs> <laughs> um, it does have, you know, there's some fruit though. Uh, it reminds me of peach rings, actually, because it's got that kind of creamy, sugary, fruity mm. notes. Um, so it's it's not bad at all. It's easy, yeah. easy to drink for sure, and that's the intention. It's only five dollars a bottle, and um, and uh, we were t talking about pairings. I you should, I think you should just drink this wine. This is yeah. good for drinking by a pool. Like this is this is a cocktail yeah. wine. So let's move right on to the Halleck Vineyard, uh, not your mother's dry white Zinfandel. And um, right out of the gate, you see it, it. I don't know if you can see it here, but it's 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 a much paler pink. Uh, it doesn't move towards the onion skin at all. There's no amber to it. It's it's just a, a really kind of pretty pink. Yeah, it's pretty gorgeous. Pink. It's bright. Um, it's almost like bubble gum color. <laughs> <laughs> Very light bubble gum. Yeah, or maybe cotton candy is better. Mm -hmm. So, oh man, so much more going on in the nose. I mean, it's a much more expensive wine. Yeah. Let's let's be fair. It's really a different wine where it's it's just kind of fun comparing these. But you know, it leads with um, you know certainly white flowers, nectarines. Totally, yeah. Specifically, like a white stone fruit is what I always get from this mm -hmm. wine. Mm -hmm. um, this is strawberry here, though. Mm -hmm. You can yeah. tell that they're related. Yeah, that's what's surprising. Yeah. You can de definitely tell that these are both related wines. I I, I love that actually. Mm. Oh, bursting with acidity. Yeah, this is this is a serious wine. It's um, it's 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 bright in the mouth. It's um, bright acidity in a good way, not not in a in a bad way. This is something that you would have with a meal. Mm -hmm. that, you can that, certainly have it as a cocktail, but oh, of course, yeah, that yeah. bright um, white peach or white mm -hmm. nectarine. I think we said mm -hmm. really present. Um, I also get a maraschino cherry as well. Mm -hmm. Lots of flowers. It's really very, floral. really floral. Yeah. And so, so this wine um, is thirty-seven dollars. So quite a different, uh, quite quite a different price point. And uh, pairing this, what would you say? Wow, we've tried it with all sorts of things. It's great with yeah. hors d'oeuvres. Um, I really like it with um, lighter styles of barbecue. It's awesome. Like especially you know pulled pork or chicken um, with a lighter mustardy sauce. Awesome. Mm -hmm. And we've had it, you know, we serve it uh, in our pairings with a, a gorgonzola style cheese. Oh, yeah. And I um, mean, it's surprising how these strong, uh, uh, this, this pairs very well with strong flavors, like uh, a, a Mexican taco would also great, go great with this wine. So anyway, I hope you enjoy. Thanks for joining us. Please like and subscribe.